Good morning, everyone. This is Deb. Look at that. I painted my nails. <laughs> uh, you'll see with what in a minute. Um, anyway, this is a combined haul. Yesterday on my, my way home from my mother's, I had to go return something at a pharmacy. And it's not her usual pharmacy. Anyway, on the way to the pharmacy, I also had to drop off some stuff at Goodwill that I didn't sell at a yard sale that was in Mom's development. I've been keeping it in her garage. But I finally took it to Goodwill because it was on the way to the pharmacy. And then I went in the Goodwill. And then right next to the Goodwill is a huge Dollar Tree. And I don't always have good luck there, but today, I mean yesterday, Saturday, the 15th, oh my word, I think it's my favorite Dollar Tree store now. So anyway, I digress. I only spent four fifty at Goodwill. I got myself one of these bowls. I have one in like a tan color and I love these for leftover vegetables and stuff because I can reheat them in the microwave. Not crazy about the color but eh, who cares. <laughs> and then um, I found these tags with rose gold foil and they were 49 cents. Um, it says party banner blank banners three dollars on the back but they don't look like banners they look like tags to me. So yeah they were 49 cents. And then they had notebooks there, and I got only one because um, I need another one to put um, dies and stamps in like that with the magnetic sheets. But um, they had a whole bunch of them, and I had picked out four. They were wrapped, and they were originally um, American crafts. But when I looked at them, they had like a ring, a ring, and then a ring and a ring, and I thought that was kind of odd, and they wouldn't fit my sheet. So this is the only one I found that had the regular three rings and it's originally a Target dollar spot. Um, three dollar and I got it for 99 cents. And then um, only one more thing and this is because my, um, and I don't like the color but I figure I'm going to cover it. Um, it's a big binder. Um, one inch binder, green room. I've seen these at Target as well. Um, originally $5.99, but I got it for $1.99 at the Goodwill because I, um, huh, I need it for, I kind of print out stuff for when I do challenges and on 8.5 by 11 printer paper and, um, I don't really have a good way to keep them, so I'm going to punch them and put them in a binder. And then when I m do them, I mark them as done. Okay, so then the Dollar Tree. Oh, my goodness. I went in there really to look for the one snack my mother and I love, which they didn't have. But this Dollar Tree had everything that my Dollar Trees haven't had in ages. So let me start. When you first walked in the door, they had these baskets in pink, blue, purple... Um, pink, blue, purple, and there was one other color, probably green, I guess, I don't know. They're not the ones with the floral design, um, but they're nice deep baskets, and I can use these to hold project stuff in, and they're not Eastery or whatever, and the color matches the ones I got with the dahlias on, which I can't even see where they are right now, because they're buried under stuff, I guess. Oh, yes, they have my stamps and whatnot. They're a little darker than those, but they're also deeper than those. In fact, I might switch my stamps out uh, and put them in one of these instead. So I got two of those. I maybe should have got more for organization. Um, and then I had picked up um, these. They had them in different sizes. They're like a hard, clear plastic. They had them in a smaller one and the bigger one, but I only got the longer one. Again, um... I use these to hold like pens or tags or whatever, or even just as I'm working on a project, put stuff in them. Um, so I only got two of those, and I had a whole bunch of the other ones in purple, pink, and blue, the smaller ones. I put them back because I was going a little too wild. Um, and But I found these, which were three pieces, and I use these all the time. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, when I do an organization video again, I keep my little paints 
um, and things, my daubers in these in a drawer. And so I actually got two sets. They only had two, one in blue and one in clear. And then they had washi tape. Now I got four. I'm not crazy about how this holds, but this is the first one I found on an end cap. And I had to have it. It's like an animal print. Yeah, had to have it. I have some paper called Wild Things, I think it's called. It, I, I believe it's a Stampin' Up! pad. And then I have another one I think I got at Hobby Lobby. And that will go perfect with those. I only saw two butterflies, so I had to get them. And they're the pretty color butterfly. So, yeah, two of those. And then I got this one because it's different. And I'm kind of into the black and white stuff now. So, anyway, those are my... Those are those, and then for ribbon, I only got these two um, off-white eggshell colored ones. They're both the same, and then I got one. They only this is the only one they had in the blingy kind. And I thought, you know, with the holidays coming up, I'll probably be using a lot of red. Plus, I use it for um, on black and white and so forth. So then I got two of these. Um, these are just the big mailers and they're the plastic ones which you can reuse but um, I got them because I'm noticing that some of these cheaper paper ones tear and I don't like that. I got a pack of jewels and gems which are flowers and butterflies. They're all different shades of pink it looks like. And you have to hot glue them on, but that's okay. I thought they're fine for paper crafts, so a dollar for um, 32 pieces, and they're by Crafter Square. And I got a correction tape. They had the liquid too, but I, you know what? It's funny. It's, I'm really surprised they still have this, but I saw somebody else using it to white out the lines in their planner. And I think that's a good idea. I'm not usually concerned about it, but this week, which I'm going to show later, I had thinner washi, and um, I don't like the black line showing through on these particular washi. So when I show that, I'll, I'll uh, tell you about that. But that's why I got the correction tape, because I can go across my black, the black lines in my planner and hide them before I put my washi down, if I remember. So I got that. And then I went a little um, nutsy. I actually had about six journals picked up, but I narrowed it down, and journals and note cards. So anyway, I, I love this one. I love that it's spiral bound. Some of them are, are not. They're just bound, you know. But I like this because you can turn it like that and do whatever. It's just line tablet. It doesn't have a whole lot of sheets. 60. Um, it's a jot notebook. Do what you love and love what you do. And I just love that saying. And I think I'm going to just sit that right up on top here to remind me of that. This is also by jot. It's also spiral bound. It has an elastic. It's a hard cover as opposed to the other ones just a laminated. And it has 80 ruled sheets. Um, I don't know. I'm, ha I'm having a thing for notebooks lately. <laughs> they had some really cute composition type notebooks too, and I, I don't know. I just um, I really am into these lately. And not that I don't have enough. I have a beautiful one sitting up here from Peggy Strong, and I have this one, which when I make my charms, I'm writing down the components that might have come out of my jewelry business inventory because I have to take them out of inventory. Anyway, um, I got these note cards just because they're like so 70s, 60s and 70s, and me. They're beautiful. They're blank inside. They're five by three cards, and yes, I can make cards. They come with the envelopes, and there's um, eight cards and eight envelopes, so they'll be cute for just writing a little note in to send with my projects to people, I thought. You know me and flowers, right? <laughs> anyway, um, now, I got some non-crafty stuff. I got two of these. They're Sure Sense Fresh Linen, and I've had them before in, I use them in my bathrooms. Uh, I just sit them on the back of the, the toilet tank, and um, you peel it open. And when you do, it has these holes. And I was thinking, 
uh, I actually just emptied one. Oh, and by the way, when these are empty, these little balls in here, they're like jelly kind of material. They dry up and shrink to tiny little bead, like two millimeter bead shapes, um, and they just lay all on the bottom. So I just emptied one, and I'm washing it out, and um, I, I, what I was thinking of doing, and I don't know if it'll work, is taking these wands and straws that everybody's been making and using it as a vase. Now this 12 ounce jar, I think it'll work in. The one I had before was 8 ounce, but you see they had two cents that were 50% bonus, 12 ounce, and they only had those in fresh linen and cherry blossom, but the cherry blossom didn't have any scent to me, so I got two of the fresh linen, one for each bathroom that I have, uh, which blue goes fine in uh, especially my my main bathroom but um and I like the fresh linen scent so the 12 ounce ones I think will work great to hold wands I'm not sure I'll let you know and then I thought I could decorate the the bottom alter it and the lid and then just have the pretty and maybe put some of those um flower stones you know the pebbles or whatever in or beads whatever um, to help hold the straws in. So, yeah, that's my idea. Um, you heard it here first. <laughs> From Deb Houck. So, I think those holes are just the right size to hold the, the wands. Because I keep putting them in little containers and they keep falling over. Let's see. I got some other non-crafty stuff, too. I got some shortbread cookies. Two bags of chips. A Snickers bar because I was hungry and I had to have it. <laughs> Uh, I like the paste picante sauce in mild. I have to get the mild because I can't handle too much spice. And my son has a little bit of acid reflux and he loves um, salsa and picante sauce. So, yeah. I got three nail polishes, two of which you are looking at. The blue sparkle and the plain aqua blue. And then I got kind of a hot pink. So, yeah, I just did them this morning. Um, I got a cooking cover to put on over top stuff when you microwave it instead of using paper towels or wax paper or saran wrap, heaven forbid. Um, I got some toilet tank cleaning tabs and three things of dish soap. I got two palm olives for me and it was a bonus bottle also and one Dawn for my mother. I like Dawn too, but the palm olive was a good deal. And let's see, I think that's it for the home stuff. So, without further ado, I first I didn't find the stickers. So they had some on an end cap, and I'm like, oh, they look like little kid things, and I didn't want them. Then, I, I really spent a lot of time in the store. It was clean. It was organized. Um, oh, I had they had eggs, a dollar for an 18 count, and I had to get them, and it said guaranteed fresh. So, yeah, not good for cholesterol, but I was, I'm was i wanting to make some deviled eggs, so that'll work. Anyway, they had these that I've seen before, I think, but I haven't hauled them with the, with the uh, I don't think I've hauled them with the kites. I mostly got them for the kites. And even the butterflies, but I'm not as crazy. The kites and this bike. Love. So I got those 17 count. They had a lot of different ones of these, um, hang on, I have to put them behind something, something behind them, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I have this white thing, which is actually packaging from my Martha Stewart punch board from ages ago. There, maybe, oops, hang on. <sighs> so sorry, guys, I'm bumping you all around. Um, White space, oh no. Anyway, they look like picture frames. And they had lots of different styles, but again, they look too mm, childish to me. So I got these with the flower power theme going on, and they're the only ones I got of those. But then, oh my goodness, I went a little, I went a little nutsy. They had something I've never seen there before. And it's these packs, sticker variety pack, assorted 61 count. This one is the yellow variety, which I don't have any 
yellow bling, I don't believe. I love the saying, the friends, the birds, the flowers, so that's a, a sticker sheet. And then this one comes with it also. So you get a lot of product plus bling for a dollar. So I got two of each, one for me and one for somebody else. Um, I got the pink, and of course I had to get the pink, and it's more like a um, cotton candy pink. And I don't think I have that shade of pink. And this one says, this one looks more like um, Valentine's Day-ish to me, I guess, but it's more about friends. It says, you are amazing, fun, happiness, love or friendship. I guess it's friendship. Be happy, sweet baby, I love you, beautiful, fun, dream big, look at the owl and the hot air balloon, and little ladybugs, and hello love, and some more owls, and flowers, and hearts, and some numbers, and then a border strip down here. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Again, I got two. And then I got the purple, which is like a lighter purple. And it says, love, sweet, has peace signs, and cupcakes more sweet, more peace signs and cupcakes and flowers and butterflies and keys. So again, I thought the and birds, I thought these were a good uh, deal for a dollar. Be happy. Little ladybugs, aren't they cute? Um, 61 pieces. So that's the purple one. I got, again, two of that. This is the green. Very bright green sort of St. Patrick's Day green. In fact, that's what I thought of initially. But then it's got the flowers and whatnot. It has more brown in it, though. I'm not as crazy about that. But I do like these. These are pretty cool. Um, and I like this flower strip here. Me and you, just because. So I thought that was pretty. Again, two of that. And then, a last but not least, the blue. And it's like an aqua, a dark aqua blue, hard to see. And I love this one, of course. I love my blues and turquoises. So cute, birdies. Very springtime. So little watering cans, butterflies, trees, flowers in a pot, little, um, what do you call those? Whirly gig or something, I don't know. <laughs> Windmill. Um, it's happy hour, great ideas, a little fence with um, sunflowers on. Obviously, they're not to scale, <laughs> but I thought those were pretty, so those were a good deal. That one has 80 pieces. The green has 61. The purple has 61. The hot pink has 80. And the yellow has 61. So for a dollar each, had to get them. We got one of each color, like I said. One for me and one to go in my prize box thing. And these other two were 16 and 17 count. So that, uh, I don't think I missed anything. Mm, two tuna salad kits, I think, is the only thing I might not have mentioned. But they're just food stuff. So... That's it, guys. That is my Dollar Tree and Goodwill haul uh, from Thursday, June 15th. I will be back shortly with a Hobby Lobby online haul. And I think I have, oh, yes, I have one other special haul. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. Okay, see you soon. Bye.